A local volunteer fire department recently bought a device to help with emergencies, making them the first in the nation to have the equipment. Eyewitness News reporter Logan Westrope shows us the Jaws of Life e -drawlic. It's called the Hearst 758E2 Jaws of Life Hydraulic, and Plymouth Fire Company No. 1 is officially the first fire station in the nation to have this device. They recently received the machinery on December 23rd, and it has not been put to the test just yet. Along with their other hydraulic tools, this combi tool has dual purposes. There's a combination tool where it does a little bit of both. It spreads a little bit. It has a capability of cutting, whereas these tools here do that operation individually. A function which greatly helps cut into high-strength steel such as automobiles with its cutting blade edges and shark tooth tips. But not limited to just vehicles, it can breach into doors and even move large rocks if needed. The fire company's other hydraulic devices often require a power cord that limits their reach to just 100 to 200 feet. The hydraulic jaws of life has no restrictions. The battery powered devices give you the functionality to go wherever, whenever. You've got, you can go unlimited distances. As long as you've got battery power, you can function anywhere. Balesto mentions there are several positives with the hydraulic, but there is one drawback. Combi tools typically are a little bit less of a spread because they have that dual functionality, so they need to be able to limit it on what they can do. Even with the slightest limitation, this machine will be ready for whatever the department embraces. In Plymouth, Logan Westrop, Eyewitness News. And officials with Plymouth Fire Company No. 1 said that they are fortunate for being such a small volunteer fire company to have the amount of gear that they are able to use.